Hello everybody. Now, today I am going to try to make some bacon from banana peel. Now I saw this lady do this on YouTube and it looked like it was easy enough. Now she didn't particularly care for um, bananas, so she didn't particularly like it. But see, I love bananas and so I'm wondering, well maybe I like it. So I'm gonna try it. So I got all my little ingredients. Got my little bananas that, you know, I had a banana earlier. <laughs> so I thought I'd save my skin and try to make myself some banana bacon. Sounds interesting, huh? Well, we're going to find out. So I broke the banana up into just little um, pieces, you know. Then what she said was you have to scrape all the extra banana out. And so... That's what I'm doing. Scraping out all the extra banana to where it's just real nice and thin. We don't have any banana, I don't know what they call that, inside of it. So I'm scraping it all out. Make it good and clean. And I mean, it sounds like it'd be interesting. Again, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a, a vegan bacon. And again, I'm not vegan per se, even though I try not to eat too much meat. Don't get me wrong, I do like it, so it's not like it's for any reason other than I do think it's much healthier not to eat quite so much meat, and so I've cut back tremendously on eating meat. You know, I, I went for like, I don't know, a year and a half? I'm like, I went a long time being a vegan. I watched one of those movies, you know, them healthy ones that show you how bad it is to eat meat. And I thought, okay, I'm going to try it out for the 30 days. It had a 30-day challenge. Well, I tried it out. And I decided, I'm going to go longer. And I went longer. And I felt great. And I loved it. Um, I don't know what actually caused me to stop. I don't remember. You know, just little by little, you know, my husband, he went on the challenge with me. And he decided that uh, he was going to have his meat. <laughs> He wasn't going to go much longer, but he cut back. We changed. And I cut, I, so I have a little bit. And even now, I eat a little bit of meat every now and then. But it's like, it's different now. It's not like I have to have meat. Like before, you like, you make food. You got to have a big piece of meat and then your food. Yeah, I'm over that. Let me get a bowl. So, now I have my thin pieces of banana skin that I just scraped all the stuff off of. So, see how nice and clean that is but it's just banana putting it in a bowl and I'm told that you have to let it marinate in your little seasonings so this is what I'm adding to my bowl I'm adding let me see some liquid amino and this is making you you make your little marinara sauce so I'm adding liquid amino on top of here which I love this. I put liquid amino on a lot of things that I cook anyways because I like the way it tastes. It's like soy sauce in a way. Then I'm adding a little bit of, you can add your own pepper. And, and now she was adding all kinds of stuff that looked really, really delicious. But um, what does she have? Uh, maple, bacon, flavored seasoning. I don't have that. I ain't never tried that before. Maybe I will. But I'm going to improvise. So I have a little bit of garlic salt. Well, I have a little bit of garlic pepper, actually. A little, I don't have the smoked paprika, but I have regular. So I'm adding regular paprika in here. Again, I don't know what this is going to taste like, but we're going to find out. It said liquid smoke. Now, I've made bacon before using um, coconut. Now, and that was absolutely delicious. And you just use the liquid smoke really easy. And that's why I thought I'd try it this way because I do love the, you know, the non-meat bacon. I do like it. So that's why if I found another way of having it, great. Especially since my family loves bananas and we always have banana peels. Which normally I take my banana peels and I put them, hey baby. And I put my banana peel. Okay, I'm, I'm recording. So. so. Do I have to like use this? Yes, please. All right. I love you. Clean it up good. And I'm going to add a little bit of maple syrup to it. 
as you can see, I'm recording and uh, does he even care? No. I think he may have bumped my camera. It looks like it went over to the side a little bit. So let me straighten that out a little bit. Let me get this back a little bit here. Yeah, I think he bumped it. I think he bumped it a little bit. That's my baby. That's my little Rowan. He is 10 years old. He's so good. Okay, so this is my concoction that I have that I'm gonna let it just sit in for a while. About five minutes or so. Just let it sit. So again, that's what I did. I just put the stuff in there and add a little more of my amino. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the salt. Yes. You cannot forget your salt. I have some uh, Himalayan salt that I'm going to add to it. Sprinkle some salt in there. For those of you that have high blood pressure, you know, just use less salt. Or don't use any at all. I don't have high blood pressure. I have just the opposite, actually. I have low blood pressure. And so I asked my doctor, well, what should I do? She said, eat salt. Well, I thought, well, you know what? <laughs> that will not be a problem. Okay. So, I'm going to let this just marinate in. There we go. Let me show you this again. So I just have it sitting in the juice. Can you see that? It's just sitting in that juice there, looking delicious. I don't have too much. I didn't want to make too much just in case. Let me taste it. Hmm. I'm going to use a little more liquid salt. I mean liquid smoke. Because I like mine a little more smoky. Move it around a little bit. Just a tad more salt. Again, I'm using the Himalayan salt. I like it. I use this for everything. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit just a little bit. Yeah, about five minutes or so. And then I'm gonna put it in the, um, yeah, I'm gonna put it in my air fryer and let's see how that works. It, it'll go faster, cleaner. I mean, I could put it on the stove. I may just put it on the stove too. And let's just see how it works out. Yeah, it shouldn't take too much longer, so let's see how that goes. Let me go ahead and get my stuff ready. Um, by the time I get my things ready for to cook it, it should be done. I'll turn my I'll plug my um air fryer in. Let me see how it does. Mm. What does it need? A little more maple syrup. Just a tad. Mm. See, got my little stuff on there. I don't know if you can see it or not. You can see it right there. Just a couple pieces. I'm just sampling, so I don't want to make too much because what if I don't like it? I hate to waste. So I will put my stuff away while I'm waiting that, letting that marinate. And if it's good, then I know. I can make myself, I'll make myself um, some toast with some avocados, some lettuce, a little bit of onion, that my bacon across there, mm, mm, mm. get some mayonnaise on that bread, mm. yeah, that's, what do you think? You think I should try it in the air fryer or the stove since it's my first time? Mmm, air fryer. Now this is my air fryer, and so I'm gonna actually put it in the air fryer. Let's see. There, I'm moving it around in the juices. Make sure all the juices get on there. 
Smells good. So. And that's what it looks like. I mean, it looked like bacon. At this point. But let's see if it tastes like bacon. So let's see what we got here. I'm just laying it down in here. There we go. I just put it in there. And now I'm going to put it in the air fryer. Let's see what it tastes like. So what I did was I put it actually into my air fryer. Um, it's over there now making that noise. Um, I put it on for about five minutes. I don't want to cook it too long. I'd rather cook it shorter and I'll probably check it in about mm, three or four minutes. Um, what you cooking? Two, I'm making my bacon. My homemade bacon out of banana skin. So we're gonna see. I'm recording. Wanna say hi to everybody? Banana hi. skin? Hey, what's up everybody? Bob, this is a great mom right here. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Wait, what's banana skin? Well you gonna the skin's off the I'm gonna turn it into bacon. So we're gonna see. Wait, you're cooking banana in there? Yeah. No, nope. it's just the skin. And he's a little <gasps> surprised about that. So he's gonna find out what it tastes like once I get it done. Hopefully it'll be good. Be nice if it was good because I do love I love me some um I love me some bacon. I love me some banana. And I have those peels and I said normally when I have um when I have a banana, I'll take the peels and I'll put it around my roses. Because I was told that the banana peels are really, really good to it does something, it helps nourish the roses and helps them to grow. And I have the most beautiful roses and I will show you my roses too. Um but yeah, so hopefully this will work out nicely and I'll have something else I can do with the peels. Because I'd love to be able to just utilize everything, you know, as opposed to just throwing things away. So we'll find out what happens. Well, I guess I can show you this rose. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that just the most beautiful rose? I know. <sighs> Wonderful. Isn't that beautiful? And so again, just putting the um, banana peels it, with your roses, you know, just break them up and stuff and just put them down there and under for you don't got to see them. You don't want to look messy. If you can, if you can put it under the dirt or something, that's fine. If not, you can just put it in there. You don't have to do nothing special. And then as you water it and stuff, you know, it'll break down eventually and go down to the ground um, because it is biodegradable. But it does, it really nourishes, it adds nutrients to your roses and makes them absolutely beautiful. Mmm, it does smell good. Oh, it smells like bacon. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see that? Yeah. So. There you go. Nice and. Okay, let's let it sit just for a second because it's, it's a bit hot. Look at that. I mean, look at that. That's not bad. I mean, you know, I could, I, if I wasn't paying attention and I just put this on my plate, and somebody just put this on my plate, that's not bad. Look at that. It looks like a piece of bacon, don't it? Uh oh, y'all. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we have here. Okay. The taste test. This is a real test. Mmm. It's got a nice flavor to it. Mmm. You know what? That's a, that's a crispy piece right there. The funny thing is I don't taste the banana. I taste the salt. It's not too crunchy. I thought it was nice because I love crunchy. I like it. I really like the banana skin. Mm hmm. Okay. Come here. Come here. We show the people. Uh huh. Mm hmm. 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 Mm hmm.
I'll take a step. Right, just, just give me. Okay. Oh! Give me some more. You want to taste it? Give me some you more. You like it? Give me some more of this. Come here. Come tell them. What do you think it tastes like? It tastes good. Like, it tastes. Barbecue flavor. He makes maple. more maple flavor. Just maple. And I got some, um, there's maple on there. There's, um, he makes some more. Yeah, I can make some more. He likes it. Hey, Mikey. See, I like it. I think it's very good. I think what it is is that because she don't like banana, she didn't like it. Or maybe it was a seasoning she used, because she used to use different stuff. But I actually like it. Mmm. Okay. All right, y'all. All right. I think that's going to be the, it's going to be the, the, the secret to me. I don't taste the banana at all. I don't taste it at all. Rowan loved it. I think it's getting the right mixture because that was delicious. Now, I didn't measure it. That's going to make it a little hard to do it exactly like I did, but I liked it. So what I did was, mm, what did I use? Paprika. I used some, uh, what was it, hickory smoke. Okay. That was the liquid smoke hickory flavor. I used the liquid amino, um, I used garlic, pepper, salt. I'm sorry, garlic, pepper. You can make your banana bacon in a skillet as well as in the air fryer. Just make sure the temperature is very low and that you cook it slow. Looks like bacon. And you can crumble it up and add it to your... Um, if you're having a salad, but that is the banana bacon. Mmm. I put my little, the rest of my mariner <laughs> that I made for my bacon, my banana bacon, and I put it in a little baggie, ziplock, and it's waterproof and all that kind of stuff, which I absolutely love. And I'll save it because, again, I know we will be eating bananas. We have plenty of bananas here. I marked it and got dated. That way you know exactly when you made it. Um, yeah, I know it's not very much, it's not very expensive and I can throw it away, but I came from a time period where, I don't know, my mother saved everything. I remember thinking that aluminum foil must have cost a thousand dollars because they just reused it and they kept it. But I think it's because of just, you know, where they came from and stuff and what they went through during their time. So I just took on a lot of those, those traits because I thought that's just what you do. And it's hard to break something once you've been doing it for a long time. So I'm so used to just saving everything if I can, reusing it if I can, repurposing if I can. It's just part of my DNA, I guess, now. And now I'm going to save my little marinara juice and make myself some more because I really did enjoy making my bacon. I hope you enjoyed it too. Tell everybody about your favorite game. Fortnite, obviously. I ask my mom for V-Bucks a lot. Yeah. And I really love it because, like, I wish if you can just earn V-Bucks some way, nobody has to pay money. No V-Bucks. What do you get when you get a V-Buck? You can, like, there's dances that cost 500 V-Bucks, 800 V-Bucks, and there's skin that costs 1,000, 800 V-Bucks. Um, Actually, you learned a lot of dances on watching them, them dance with those, with those, what are they called? Avatars? What are those they call skins. skins for? Oh, skins. The skins are dancing? <laughs> okay. Um, you want to show a dance that you learned? Sure. Okay. Then they have laughed it up. I have this one. <laughs> And what's that called? Laugh it up, you're laughing. It sounds like he's kind of choking. It sounds so weird. So you're laughing so hard that it sounds like you're choking. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we're going to make peanut gonna make butter cookies. Peanut butter cookies. Here we go. We're going to be baking cookies. 
cookies, peanut butter cookies. So guys, let's do it. So you just pour the cookie mix. You pour all of it. It's a lot of cookie mix. Now you get, oh, so let me just peel this up to the one fourth of a cup. Okay, let's do this. Oh, that's a little too much. So if you pour a little too much, you pour it back. Yeah, pour it back in there. So a little too much, so you keep on pouring. Check it, nope, not yet. Keep on pouring, check it, not yet. Keep on pouring, check it. Perfect, alrighty. So now you gotta crack your eggs and put them in here. So, crack your egg, put it in there. Okay, crack your egg, put it in there. Guys, you're supposed to pour it in here, so let me just do that real quick. Um, so, uh -huh. so now you stir it, and it doesn't look like, like I think you're gonna need some more to mix, but you probably won't. Yeah, you keep stirring. I'm just, you know, stirring this up real quick. It's almost done, too. My mom did some of it. Okay, guys, it's time to make it into balls. So let's do it. Okay, guys, we're going to be putting it into balls. Um, this is what we made so far. Okay, anyways, guys, let's just do this. Okay, we made four balls. You can use it with your hands, but make sure to wash your hands, though. Really good, because, you know, you don't know what kind of germs can be on there. If you want to do it quick, guys, I got a quicker way. Let's just do the quicker way. This is taking a little too long. But they don't have to be perfect. This is like the best thing. Right, Mom? This yeah. is the best. This is the best. Oh, guys, we're pushing uh, the fork against the cookie dough to make crisscrosses. So we're just doing that. All right, guys, I'm trying to get this through. Oh, guys, well, now let's put it in the oven. Okay, so you open the oven. Make sure it's not too hot. Open it slowly. You open it slowly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so. I, um, uh, this part, I will help you. My mom's gonna take off the cookies. I cannot watch this. And place it in the oven. Um, so we'll be taking the cookies out, so let's do it. Careful. The cookies have cooled for two minutes, so let's take them off of the, uh, let me see, what is it called? I'm sorry, cookie sheet. Ooh, they're a little too hard. Hey guys, I'm just taking off the sheet, the cookie sheet, sorry, I should say. I want to say, Zach, I, I hope you guys have fun doing this, because I have fun enjoying it. How they coming along? Looking good? Yeah. We're gonna be putting this in the oven, you guys, so let's just get started. So make sure to have mitts on. Because this thing can get extreme hot. <laughs> You want to try it? All right, guys, I'm going to be trying a cookie. We'll see how it tastes. That's amazing. Ah, uh, that's literally 
you're in heaven. Cookies and milk is the best, you guys. Like, it's the bomb, dude. So I'm gonna be trying it for you guys, and I'm gonna be telling you what I think. Next, you wanna throw up rainbow. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. The next thing I wanted to tell you guys that this inspired me to become a better person because you get to hang out with your mom or your dad, whoever you're doing it with. It inspires you guys to have family time, bond. You guys get to bond together by doing this. Ask questions, you guys hug each other, you guys say I love you guys, you guys help each other. That's just nice. So did you like your cookies? Yes, they're deliciously good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm so glad you enjoyed your cookie. If you'd like to find out more about joining our group here at Pace TV, please go to our website www.pace-tv.com. It is never too late to have fun learning a new skill. Thanks for tuning in.